What's up everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at one of the most important and common questions that many people have when they get a new motherboard. And that is, do you need to reinstall Windows when you get a new motherboard? If you're looking for an answer for this, I have you covered. Stay tuned to know everything about it. Getting a new piece of hardware for your PC is always exciting. For example, when you get a new motherboard, you're getting something better than what you had before. But this comes with some challenges. Let's break down whether a Windows reinstallation is necessary and how you can avoid it as much as possible. Based on my experience, when you swap out your motherboard, you're essentially changing a significant part of your computer's hardware. Windows ties itself closely to the hardware it was installed on previously, especially the motherboard. This is because of the drivers and the hardware that are specific to your old motherboard. So when you replace it, Windows might not recognize the new setup, leading to issues like boot failures, driver conflicts, or even activation problems. But don't worry, based on my experience, Windows reinstallation is always not necessary, and sometimes you can have a smooth transaction following some of the steps that I tell you in this video. But before that, to support this channel to create more videos like this one, please give a like and subscribe. Before I get started, something that I always do and I really recommend you doing it too is to fully back up everything in my computer. From all of my files, videos, images to programs, I fully back up everything into an external hard drive in case anything goes wrong when I swap out the new motherboard. What you want to do next is to keep your Windows activation key handy. Sometimes even with the best preparation, Windows might need reactivation. Having your key will save you a lot of hassle. Make sure to check what type of activation you have and sometimes for example many people that have a digital license of Windows they might need to link it to their Microsoft account so that they can unlink it and link it back to their new motherboard and keep their activation active. Therefore because the process is different for everyone make sure to check it yourself online or get some help. What I'm going to do next is based on my own experience and please do your own research before you proceed. So the first thing I would like to do is to search drivers and go to device manager and once I'm there I want to uninstall all of the drivers that are related to my old motherboard for example the chipset, the LAN, the audio driver and maybe some of the storage drivers. After installing the new motherboard power your PC, if everything goes well Windows should boot up. Again, based on my experience, Windows detects all of the drivers automatically. However, install all of the new drivers, go to your motherboard manufacturer website and download the latest driver for your motherboard and also for your video card. The next most important step is to reactivate your Windows. If prompted, use your activation key to reactivate your Windows or sign into your Microsoft account to reactivate your Windows. Alright, it's time to check for updates. Run Windows Update to ensure you have the latest security patches and updates. Based on my experience, these steps should help you avoid a full reinstallation and get your system up and running smoothly. So is it necessary to reinstall Windows when you get a new motherboard? Not always, but it depends on your preparation and the specific hardware involved. Based on my experience, it is always better to do a clean install if you have the time and if you know how to do it. But if you don't have the time, that is okay too. For any question, feel free to comment below, I will be more than happy to respond. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more tech tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.